In the next part of this tutorial, I'll be adding some internal rules uh, and customize this navigation. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, basically, uh, you know, this is an internal, you know, link. Basically, my CSS is internal at this point uh, because you can see that it's everything will go under the style, and I have my navigation background color included in this document uh, because as you recall usually before internal you would see a link that points to a document that ends with .css so for now we're going to build everything internally so right now I just have a regular list again nothing is working there's no links and this is you know basically I need to make some changes to make this uh, act behave as a navigation uh, basic navigation system so the first thing we're going to do, as we go from the class exercise, we're going to add a UL tag, and that stands for unordered list. And we've done the same thing before, but we, we, we use Dream Reverse feature uh, to add the code for us. So now we're going to basically learn how to do the same exact thing, but manually. So we're going to add list, style, type. And colon none. Basically, we don't want to have any style for the text. And I'm going to go back down and add margin, and everything needs to be lowercase. Colon space zero semicolon to end the argument. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one more for padding. I'll just change the padding. And then go back down and choose color, colon, uh, RGBA. We can also use hexadecimal colors, but right now I'm just using the colors that I already selected. It's kind of a gray color. 51, 51, 51, 1, 2, 0, 0, closing, semicolon, move down. Then we're going to do background. I, you see, as soon as I start typing uh, background color, background, it, you know, all the options come up, so I can simply double click that. Again, R, G, B, A. In semicolon, and then we're going to end the argument and move back down. And now we're going to create rule for the list. So, li now this is my argument for the list. We're going to do display. And I want you know, for so this is kind of important for the uh, horizontal. Navigation, you always use online, and if you want vertical navigation, you would change this to block. So, text decoration has typed it, it pops up so you don't have to keep typing the whole thing, make sure you leave some distance. Move that down, margin right. Basically, I want to add margin to the right so the navigation is not seen so closely to each other. I'm going to say 45 picks, but I can change it if I choose later. I can just come back to every that. So as I do this, basically nothing really happened, just some colors changed. Uh, and if I drag this over, and if I preview this, you see that basically the, point, the finger is pointing to the nav, but the colors doesn't change. Uh, but I managed to actually create some space between the, you know, each button. So then I'm going to close this out. Now I need to customize this further by actually creating rules for the normal state, active state, hover state, hover state, and visitor plane. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and move down. Move down here. And make sure 
to close the argument. There we go.